Birthdays are just another reminder of how insignificant they are to us. But it still hurts to feel forgotten, to feel invisible, to feel alone. Why do you care? We're stronger alone. You don't need them. Strength is in solitude, remember? But sometimes I wanna feel acknowledged. I don't want to be invisible. I want to be seen. Seeking validation from others will only lead you to disappointment. It's human. We all want connection. You're longing for something that will only bring us pain. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of being alone. Look at her. She was the only one who remembered. She's different. And I have to try. I have to try because I know if I don't, I won't be able to live with her again. And, and I, I can't live with that. I'm tired. I'm just so tired of being alone.
why were we so mean to him? Do I really have to remind you? Come on! We know this. We know him in two periods, right? He's very nice and likable, but he's too likable. Which means he's uncontroversial, which means he's indifferent. He's a copy of a copy of a copy. And that doesn't intellectually intrigue us or interest us in any way, shape, or form. So why are you asking? But that's still so unnecessary. He was just being nice. I'm gonna ask you a question now. Was she different? Or was she just being nice? No, she wasn't just being nice. There's something more there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you hear yourself? <laughs> She's... There's something more there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro, there's 10 different guys saying the same thing you're thinking. <laughs> you're fucking hilarious, man. She wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. <laughs> Why the fuck wouldn't she? You barely know her. <laughs> and now you barely know what she would and wouldn't do? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Why is she different then? Give me an example. Well, she's kind. She's, she's pretty, uh, sh she's smart, and, uh, <laughs> Oh my god! Stop! Stop right there. If the best reasons you can come up with liking this girl are the most basic reasons in human history, I'm not letting us continue this. Look, I'm just trying to look out for us. I'm not letting us get hurt again. So you better come back here with a better reason than that she remembered our birthday because that's just basic human kindness. And don't think you have something special with someone because everyone else was an asshole. That's not special. That's just one person being a good person, the person that they should be. So you better come back here with something better than that. Because then I'm not letting us continue this. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the time, it's not worth the money, and it's not worth the energy.
She's great. So what? Come on. Relationship at this age will most likely fail. So what's the point of starting one if there's no future? Come on. Why don't we just let this go? Move on. And focus on ourselves. I know, but... <laughs> yeah, right. You're s I, why do I just not listen to you? Ah, she's so different, right? No! That's what every guy in human history says, man. You don't realize it? We're falling to the same trap that everyone else does. But maybe things could be different for us. Maybe we could be happy. Ah, oh, come on, man. We don't need a girlfriend to make us happy. Other people won't make us happy before we make ourselves happy. We need to be okay with being alone. But when being alone has been our whole lives, I don't think that applies to us anymore. She won't fix our traumas. She won't fix our pain. So what's the point? Lee, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. So there's this girl and on the one hand, she's great, but on the other, I think we're too young. And if I decide to date her and it fails, I feel like it would have all been for nothing and I would just end up where I started. So I'm just here to ask you, is it worth trying? <laughs> well, nobody knows, that's the whole point. You try it, and then you see where it ends. If it fails, so what? That means she wasn't meant for you. And if it succeeds, you have a partner for life. There's no real losing. I mean, there's no real winning either. What do you mean by not winning? What I mean is relationships aren't all the same. Just like a chess game. If you make the right moves, your, your queen will be happy. You make the wrong moves, your queen will be mad. And if you get checkmated, your queen will leave you. So how do you guarantee that you always make the right move? I don't think there is one. And if there is, it's a mystery to me. Look, you may not find the woman for you and get married and have a life with her. That may not be. And it took me a long time to be okay with that. More than just intellectually, but but spiritually as well. So it's not worth trying. It's not that simple. Even though I was able to find peace with that realization, I still wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. The mystery of love isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. Sometimes, you just have to follow your heart.
no more barriers to cross. I now realize there is no escape, no world where I'm not alone. But now I see loneliness as a strength, not a weakness. God has isolated me to make me strong. I don't need people. I don't need joy. I don't need anyone. This realization has brought me clarity. I'm destined for solitude. My pain, my indifference, my desire for others to share my suffering. It all leads me back to this truth. There is no catharsis 
no escape from this solitary existence. And so I embrace my fate. I am God's lonely man. And in that loneliness, I find resilience. The world may reject me, but in my isolation, I stand strong, unbroken by the absence of others. I am complete in my solitude, finding solace in the silence that surrounds me. I have dealt deep, but there is no new knowledge to be gained. This confession, this acceptance, means nothing.